Adam Dubrovsky here with head coach Travis Johnson and the player of the game Aaron Forster as NGIT falls in a tough battle against Quinnipiac 16-14 coach. Uh, we'll be talking to Aaron momentarily, but he had nine goals. That ties a season high of all D1 players this year for goals in the game. Two, two assists as well, so the most points by any D1 player this year so far. Your thoughts, obviously, not just on Aaron's game, but the team's game as a whole. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> he's a scorer, so, you know, anytime we can get the, the ball in the stick, we're looking to do that. Um, and obviously, defenses are keyed on him, so uh, for him to, to have that many points is, is a pretty good accomplishment on his end. Um, and then, uh, obviously, there was a handful of those that were in transition, so uh, good on those guys of getting him the ball, you know, in those situations. Um, it's nice to get the, you know, your, your best shooter the ball, so, um, you know, so from that standpoint, uh, you know, He's the kid that we, we want the ball to stick. So. Unfortunately, the difference in that game, the first quarter being outscored 8-3, to three, but obviously the positive of the team's adjustments to get back in the game. What were really the biggest keys there to make those adjustments? <laughs> you know, we, cha we changed a couple a couple things, but nothing drastic, um, just a, a couple of wrinkles, um, you know, off of scheme-wise. But at the end of the day, it was all about just us running around and, and playing, playing hard and having fun. It'll just be nice just to just to be home, you know, where, where we're not getting on the bus and all that stuff. So, uh, but uh, you know, it's it's you know to, to play tonight, you know, and then have two days where we got to prepare for the Monmouth, which is you know uh, physical grinded out team, um, you know. So a lot of it is just going to be a mental part on our end, and then have to turn around and play on on Saturday, um, you know, is is going to be tough. But you know. A lot of it is going to be the mental aspect. I think we learned a lot today about ourselves, and, and uh, hopefully we can, you know, we can take a couple steps forward here on Tuesday. Well, thank you much for your time, Coach, and best wishes on the prep for Tuesday. Great. Thank you. And now here with our player of the game, Aaron Forster. And Aaron, obviously you've had a great experience scoring a lot of goals, but was there anything different about today that helped you to get to those nine goals, or was it just kind of going play by play? Uh, for me, it was probably just play by play. It was just kind of one of those games where things were just dropping for me. As Coach said, obviously, uh, my teammates were doing a lot to free up in transition and just doing six on six on general. So, a lot of those goals I, I owe to my teammates just because they're helping me out there. Yeah. Talk a little bit about your season so far as a senior now, five games in. What has been uh, kind of the biggest thing as one of those leaders to help move the team forward and continue to improve? I think the biggest thing is just like having a voice out there, um, getting the boys pumped up before games, making sure that everybody's uh, on the same page. Practicing outside practice is a huge thing for us. Uh, just making sure that we're uh, getting better every day. So as a, as a captain, it's obviously a big responsibility to keep this thing so going. What has been some of the best things about the entire offensive unit this season? Um, I think uh, the best thing is we just have a lot of faces scoring right now. A lot of guys stepping up uh, into that kind of role. So it's not always just like we're looking at one guy to put the ball in the back of the net. Like we have multiple people that are confident like getting the ball and putting it in. Well, I asked Coach, obviously, about the three games in eight days, but for you personally, what's really the biggest key in terms of recovery and getting ready for Tuesday's game? Just making sure you're taking care of yourself. Lots of uh, ice baths, lots of uh, stretching, yoga. I'm a big advocate for the yoga, so uh, obviously just anything we can really do to, to speed up that recovery. Well, great job today. Keep loose. Thank you so much. Again, Aaron Forster, nine goals. That is a D1 top mark. Tied for the best this season and 11 points, the best in D1 this season. But again, the next game for NGIT men's lacrosse will be Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. against Monmouth on the Highlander Sports Network. For the Highlander Sports Network, this is Adam Dobrovolsky.